A summer revival is underway in Beaumont, and you are invited. Here with more is evangelist Dr. J. Lewis Felton and Pastor Gerald Smith. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. And you call it a summer revival because you guys are heating it up, right? It's already been ongoing, giving a blessing to the people yes, out there. That's correct. All right, so let's talk about the fact that you guys started last night, but you got two more nights so people can join in and, and get involved. Sure. It's a great uh, blessing to be in your wonderful city of Beaumont from Philadelphia. Uh, we are grateful that uh, this ministerial alliance, uh, the Brotherhood Ministerial Alliance, is interdenominational. People from all various churches, uh, Baptist, Methodist, yeah. Pentecostal, coming together as one. That's the kind of revival we need for mm -hmm. people to learn to count to one, not to accentuate our differences, exactly. but to find common ground and build upon that. All right, I believe in that. So talk to me about last night. What happened last night? Uh, we had a wonderful time on last night in our first uh, night of the revival, and uh, the Spirit of God was there uh, from the beginning through the prayer and through the praise and through the uh, choir ministry. Uh, the Spirit of God was moving mightily, and then certainly we heard a very dynamic message from our guest evangelist, Dr. Uh, Felton. Uh, he certainly did lay it out with uh, much content, and the Spirit of God moved in a mighty way. All right, so 7 o'clock every single night from t tonight and tomorrow. What are some things we're going to be hearing from you? Well, tonight uh, from Proverbs 11, 24 and James 1 and 1, uh, there's a minister to the diaspora. There are so many events in life that cause people to be scattered, to lose their bearing, to mm -hmm. become disconnected. Uh, but the Spirit of God is a unifying force mm -hmm. and provides healing for those people who have been broken and separated from their purpose, from their family, uh, many people have lost jobs and homes, have endured tragedy, but God has a word that anchors people, that brings them back into fellowship mm -hmm. and relationship with one another. All right, so people that are out there uh, getting their pens and paper out there saying, what do I need to know to, to attend this event? All you got to do is show up. Mm -hmm. And of course, it, thank you gentlemen so much for joining us. And it is going to be at the Douglas Memorial Church, which is 1370 Ewing Street in Beaumont, if you'd like to come. And it's going to be 7 o'clock tonight and tomorrow.